We're coming up on Halloween and I thought it would be fun to share my top five favorite horror movie, Halloween kind of thing, theme songs as arranged very simply for guitar. Now, even though I opened there with a big multi-track version of a Halloween theme, uh, what I'm going to show you today are very simple, arranged for one guitar, playing by yourself, um, the most like simple versions of the song. So you can kind of whip it out at a party and maybe do like a name that tune kind of thing with your friends. It's not going to be all advanced chord melody type of stuff, just a simple single guitar arrangement. And I'll get to it in a second, but first, welcome to Music with Marky. We're going to start with a single guitar arrangement of the one I opened with, the theme to the movie Halloween. This is just the main theme part, and if you kind of want to whip out a guitar and impress your friends at a party and just play it as a single guitar, this is the best way to do it. Okay, so with this one there's some moving parts. You've got that high note, the F sharp, and then the basic theme that everyone kind of sticks in their head, which is the C sharp, ninth fret, to the seventh fret, the uh, F sharp, and you could play just that if you wanted to. Then you go up to the 10th fret. And then when the chord changes to the B flat in the lower part, just down a uh, half step. But I want to kind of arrange it into a little bit of a slightly chord thing. So we're going to take all this and move it way up here. It'll be the 16th fret on the D string. And then the 18th fret, a fifth higher on the G string. And then the octave, 19th fret. So you have a basic uh, power chord with an octave way up there on the 16th fret. And you can take this 18th fret and move it to the 19th fret and put the whole thing together as a bit of a rhythm part. And then just go down a half step. So if you pull that out in that fashion, I think that's a good way to kind of show that you know the theme song to it if you want to do a little one guitar thing. Let's look at the next one now. This next one is from the classic hit Psycho, the thriller that the theme song, it's not really a theme song, but it's what everybody associates with the movie. It's the scene in the shower when the guy's got the knife and it's done with violin. So the texture is going to be a little different on guitar and it just builds a layer at a time uh, between it's, it's a, uh, the notes are half step off. So it's an E flat and an E and the way I've arranged it so you can kind of play it by itself and give people a chance to guess what you're talking about. I'm starting with the E flat on the 16th fret of the B string. And you're gonna have to do this with fingers and not a pick, by the way. And it's just the, the basic quarter notes. And then you're going to mix to the E here on the E string, the octave. So it's going to be. Now you need the next violin that comes in, which is the lower E flat which is the 13th fret on the D string. So now you've got... And then to get that other E that comes in, I'm actually removing a note instead of having four at the same time, and I'm gonna lift my first finger off to expose the open E string so it's in that same octave as the third note we played. So the whole thing together. You can hear I get some sympathetic vibrations from the other strings. It's a little bit hard to control. Depending on what guitar you play, it'll be cleaner or not. But that's hopefully enough of the stabbing in the shower scene theme music there that people should be able to pick out what movie you're trying to get them to guess. Now we jump way forward in time to a more modern classic. That's probably the easiest one to play here as far as what you have to get under your fingers, but the timing of it's a little bit tricky. And this is from the movie Saw. Now the intro to the theme is just that kind of harpsichord keyboard type of sound and that's what we're going to translate here and get you to play and hopefully that's enough for people to guess what movie you're doing the theme from. The whole thing's in D minor, you're going to be using the open D string as a pedal and then the only notes you're going to be playing is the octave on the 7th fret, 9th fret, 10th fret and then you'll move up one position, 9, 10 and 12. And it's the number of times you hit the open D string in between the movements that's going to allow you to keep the odd timing of this. So it starts off with just the, and you're gonna hit D three times. And then you're gonna do it again. And it'll hit the D once, then go down, nine, seven, and right away up again. So it's, So after you get back from the going down from the nine to the seven, and then you hit the up again, seven, nine, ten, 
hit 1D, and then 7, 9, 10 right away again. And then we're going to have three pedals, 7, 9, 10 again. And then it's going to shift up to this high position, one pedal note of a D, and then the whole thing repeats over again. This is going to be a little easier to understand from the tablature, which I've included in a PDF below. So I'll just play it through once for you to see. So it's a bit of a timing tongue twister, but as far as what you're playing with your fingers, as I said, it's the easiest one. Let's go to the next one now. The theme for The Exorcist, again played on piano, which just seems to be the horror movie instrument of choice, translates really well the intro part onto a guitar as a nice cross-picking riff. Our pedal is an E note we played on the ninth fret of the G string, and we're going to keep coming back to that every other note, and we're going to build this pattern from there. So we start with an E, then we have the A, the tenth fret of the B string, back to the E. 12th fret of the B string. Sounds best if you're muting it, by the way. Then we go back to the E, and then we have two notes, the 8th and the 10th, the G and the A. That's kind of one tiny little section of it. And then you start over here. Now it's going to be the 8th fret, back to the E, 10th fret, back to the E, and then 7, 8, B, C. So. So the two sections of it, and you play those twice. Then after two times, there's a slight little turnaround. They add another layer to it, but for a single guitar, what we're going to do is play this on the third repeat. Start with the E, the B there, then to the A, so it's 12th and 10th. Then back to the B, back to the E, then G, A, 8, 10. And then we're just starting over. And it rolls around in a pattern like that. This last one isn't a horror movie per se, it's a TV show, but it's extremely popular and it definitely has horror slash Halloween elements to it. The Stranger Things theme is an iconic 80s keyboard sound, and we're going to translate just the basic arpeggiated parts of guitar, the first little section of it, and it starts in C here. We're going to play a C on the third fret of the A string. We'll hammer to the seventh, the E, and then we're going to play the fifth. This is a basic C major triad, first, third, fifth. That's the fifth fret, the G on the D string. Then we're going to play the major seventh, the B on the G string, C, the octave, Back to the B, and we just work our way back. And we do that twice, and then we change the C to the root note of a low E, and play the same exact pattern. So it's the open E, the 7th, the 5th on the D string, 4th again on the G string. Put it all together. That one can be a little challenging to get up to speed. I definitely say work it with a metronome, but it's a good practice just for basic arpeggios as well. So there you have five quick, easy arrangements for horror movie and TV show themes for songs. Hope you enjoy them and it makes sense to you. Again, as I put in the text before, the tabs are included in the PDF in the description of the video below if you want to be able to read those. And if you have any further questions or comments, any cool ones that you can show of your own, please leave it in the comments below, and I get back to everyone as soon as I can. And until next time, guys, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.